Hello, everybody. Battlefront CJ here. So I recorded a video last um, earlier today. Uh, it was about uh, how it, this is a Twitch rant. All right. I've been using Twitch for about a year or so now. I like it, right? So me, Luna, I don't know if you know Luna, Nightmare Meme, whatever. Um, if I do a lot of videos, he's usually in it. If you're fans of like BCL and fans of mine, you know who Luna is, but I'm probably going to get trolled anyway. So I did a video on Bandicam, which also sucks too, because I had a microphone on, right? It didn't record my microphone because I ranted about, like, seriously, man, it, it was pretty bad because I recorded using Twitch Studio, right? First time ever. Guess what? It did not save my broadcast. I specifically have a setting on my Twitch that will save all my broadcasts so I can, because I know you can export them to YouTube, right? Nope. If you go to my channel right now, Battlefront CJ 1993, which is also my, or Metal and Blues 1990, whatever it is. Okay? Uh, if you go to my Twitch right now, you'll see one video. And then you'll see two clips. Those clips are from the video that I was supposed to be live streaming, right? It made two clips. I said, I didn't do, I didn't say I wanted those two clips. I didn't do any of that. All I did, okay, was press stream. Sorry. Sorry, you can't do that today. No explanation. No warning. Sorry, this video can't be saved today. No warning whatsoever. Okay? And they're going to say that I'm blaming Twitch. I don't know what the problem could have been. Okay? I understand. This is not like this is not like Battlefront 3 freezing. I understand why Battlefront 3 freezes. Okay? Battlefront 3 freezes because it, it just, my, my system might not be able to handle it. Maybe that's it. Or I have a lot of malware. That's, that's the reason. That's, that is not, has nothing to do with Battlefront 3 freezing, right? I was playing with Luna and another guy named John, a.k.a. Unknown Time Lord, right? I'm, I don't want to put these names in the description. It's going to take too long, so uh, you can figure it out. Um, Luna, Unknown Time Lord. And so I went to go to my Twitch, right? After this was all streamed. The title's right there. And I even talked to people on, like, the Discord. Like, oh, well, Trish doesn't normally save it. I'm like, really, dude? I mean, I know, I know. But I already said it. And that was the Battlefront 3 Legacy because apparently I'm a meme whenever I rant because they think I blame other people for my feelings. I streamed with Twitch Studio. And I deleted that video. I'm, I'm taking a break from my laptop today. I'm not going to be live streaming basically because of two reasons. One, if I go back there and Twitch screws up, I might have a mental breakdown like I am now. And three, I don't... And that's one. And two, I don't feel like going on Twitch again or my NVIDIA or my NVIDIA shadow play. I mean, I tried twice with Twitch. Unable to connect to Twitch. Unable to connect to Twitch. It worked earlier. So you're telling me there's a delay when I try to use NVIDIA shadow play after it worked before? So, so are you telling me I can't use what I want? Wow. Hey, and that's a good job, Twitch and NVIDIA Shadowplay. That's very good. I could I could stream Battlefront for an hour and 23 minutes, but as soon as I do COD, sorry, can't be saved, despite the fact that you said save all past broadcasts. Same thing the first time I streamed on Twitch. I did it with NVIDIA Shadowplay. Sorry, can't be saved. It's been a couple months. It's been a couple of months, and that video still hasn't surfaced. I... I did the right thing. It's been set. Okay? Not every single video will be on Twitch. And and you know what? For some reason, and this is what really this is what gets on my nerves. I don't know what causes that to happen. One. And two, if it wasn't allowed to save, shouldn't I get a message saying, sorry, your your broadcast was unable to be saved? 
say that. And I know I broadcast because if I didn't broadcast, it would have the name of the stream that I did with Luna Battlefront. But but, but the title was Cod Ward at War with Luna. That's the name of the stream. And I know because I have a good memory and I'm smart. I'm not making this up. I'm not trying to blame Twill. Oh, oh, Battlefront 3. Ooh, ooh CJ's at it again. CJ's at it again. <laughs> CJ's at it again. See, she's at it again. No, I'm not at it again. But I'm probably going to get a million hate comments. Oh, oh, do you freeze? Oh, do you freeze? Like, what? What does freezing have to do with Twitch? I'm streaming Cod War at War because I like to play it now. Because back in the day, I used to play Cod Black Ops all the time on PS3. All the time. I used to play zombies all the time with the multiplayer as far as Battlefront goes, you know, this is, you know, when I was, I was unfortunately not able to play online with other people. I have that luxury now. But when I was a kid, the first multiplayer game I ever played was Call of Duty Black Ops, the original. I got to level 45 online. I've never been able to sniff that. Because I think Black Ops is the most, I mean, that, that top of the list as far as, and I've always been a fan of multiplayer shooters, first person shooter games. You know, I played Halo the other day. Um, you know, I got Halo Custom Edition. Lag as hell, but you know what? Uh, it was still, it, it was pretty good, I guess, you know, despite the fact that, um, you know, it wasn't good. But like, level 45 on Call of Duty Black Ops, and now when I try it, because I got a PS3 from work, the one that I showed you guys a couple, about six or seven months ago, I want to get a capture card. Can I tell you why I want to get a capture card? Because I want to ca capture that stuff. And also, too, for one, and this is another rant to Steam and everything. A game that was released in 2010 is $40. So, you really think the game will, will make more money by buying it for $40? Like, I don't, th that makes no sense to me. It's like, it's like them releasing the old Battlefronts. Oh, well, I mean, I remember, so when that game came out, I remember I had a copy and then I got one from Toys R Us. I forgot what year that was. That was like one of my last, um, last games on like, um, on PlayStation 2. I remember it specifically. It was $20. The PC version is less than that. Okay. Black Ops is $40. I wish I could play that on PC, okay? I wish I could play that on PC. You know why I want to play it on PC? Because that game is awesome. It is the Black Ops is in my like as far as all my favorite like games, first Black Ops, maybe I don't really like Black Ops 2. The only reason I like Black Ops 2 is because of the gun game, Sticks and Stones. That was kind of the last one. And 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 I will say this, I do like Advanced Warfare, despite the fact that um, people hate it. I just like the futuristic weapons, and I'm always been a fan of offline modes. As much as I like multiplayer, I think offline, it's fun. And um, Black Ops is awesome, by the way. And uh, I'm someone that, you know, everybody pirates games. Look, but you don't have to pirate the game if Steam would lower the dang price. You know what would be a good price for that game? $15, including all the DLC. People would buy that like that. No, let's no four dollars plus DLC. Wow. And you expect us to get Steam keys? You expect no. We should be able, okay, by four by making the price forty dollars. Activision's not making any more money on the game. The servers are down. And for you guys. Valve to charge charge that much for a game that came out in 2010. That's good. And it, the DLC is not even included. Like I could understand if it was $40 and got all the DLC packs, the base game, one game and no DLC. Like, can't they just make a bundle? Like seriously, Activision, but that's my favorite game of all time. I want to play it on PC. I find that, that, um, I mean, most of you guys probably know this, but, you know, my Black Ops 3 streams and everything, 
Black Ops 3 I like just because of the zombies and, you know, the retooled zombies and everything and the perk bottles. Basically, the main reason you should get Call of Duty, especially the Black Ops games, is to get zombies. The multiplayer stopped during Black Ops 2, even though the multiplayer, eh, I mean, but I think that Black Ops 1, perfect, absolutely perfect game, that won't probably won't be remastered because, you know, Activision, the campaign only. Really, dude? Campaign only? Can you just release Mon Warfare 2 with multiplayer, dude? Seriously, I never played the multiplayer before. I'm not a campaign person. I want to play against people. Nope, sorry, campaign only. You know, like a couple of YouTubers I found, Neuro Studio, uh, Cinema and, and Tim Hansen. I've been watching a lot of Tim Hansen. All these, all these guys that were, you know, I mean, I've always been a fan of COD Zombies. But the reason this video is, the reason I'm upset because this stream, I couldn't save it, I pack-a-punched. I got the ray gun and I forgot I got the AK4U or something. I, I pack-a-punched those two guns, right? Stream is gone. And Luna too. Why is you Luna? Nightmare meme. Uh, he's no, uh, I know him as Why is you Luna. That's kind of his... His name and everything, but he had a black screen during recording. If if you mean to tell me that Twitch can't let it's just I mean it could be my hardware, but you know I, I mean I mean the game doesn't freeze. I mean the game might have problems, but for me to be unable to save my my gameplay for um, for uh, COD World at War, that amazing game, and I even emailed, I even emailed uh, um, Twitch. Apparently, their help is down now. Oh, contact us! Can't the help just be up? Like, is your is your website really messed up because of this virus? Like, I mean, what am I supposed to do? I mean, I like Twitch mostly because I. It just seems like a fun platform, and it's better than YouTube. No offense, YouTube people. I hope I don't get demonetized, despite the fact that I'm not going to be any. Uh, I only have 500 subscribers, and most of them are trolls or bots, or people that like to like to say, "See, fix the freeze, fix the freeze." No, I'm not fixing. Dang, it's nothing to do with Battlefront Three. If anybody says anything about the Battlefront Three, fix the freeze. I'm kicking you off the channel, and you're not, and I'm blocking you on Discord. I'm, if if you follow me on anything, I'm blocking you. So do not talk about fixing the freeze. That has nothing to do with fixing the freeze. It has. I wanted to play war. I wanted the three Call of Duty World War Three. Most of you guys know I'm opinionated. I'm giving my opinion about this uh, about it. Okay. Don't say about fixing the freeze. Dude, it's nothing to do with Battlefront Three Legacy. Don't say fix the freeze. I don't care if I'm a meme or not. It has nothing to do with the situation. You people, I hate when people think of me and go, oh, fix Battle for Three, fix the freeze. What does this have to do with Battle for Three Legacy? What? Only one that died a good game of War that War. Two. Oh, nope, sorry, you can't save it, but he's ranting. Fix the freeze, fix the freeze. I guarantee you, someone, either Commander Omar or someone else, is going to come on there and be like, fix the freeze. Nothing to do with that, dude. I swear to God, if I see one comment about fix the freeze, I'm literally going to block them or spam them in Discord, okay? Troll me with that. That has nothing, it has nothing to do with it. That's the problem. Nothing to do with the game free. It has nothing to do with the freezing. It has something to do with Twitch. It's about Twitch not working. All right, so little quick other point. Just, um, I am not going to be streaming today, um, so I'm going to be taking a break today. I need a break. I need a break because if I continue to, if, if I play that game today, I'm literally going to lose it because, whoa, and, and then, and then, and then when I, and then I wanted to do some, I, I wanted to test, so I did a test stream with, uh, with Twitch Studio. Guess what? I stream, I streamed, uh, Cold War War again. It worked. 
the hell, dude? Really? It worked last, it didn't work last night, but oh, today, you, you start your computer up, it worked! Oh my god! Why? Why, though? I wanted, I just want to know why. Why couldn't it work last night, but today it works fine? Like, what? This is the 21st century. Stuff is supposed to be work and be efficient. I don't care for an Ebola, I don't care for a pandemic. That has nothing to do with, to do with the fact that, that, a, I wanted to stream a game that was working, mind you, that should have saved, and it's not. And that really, that just pisses me off, dude. I don't want to try it again, okay? I was able to pack a punch on Not Reimagined, something that I've never done before, okay? That, that map is fun. We, we, like, it's just like, what the heck? It, it's, it's, like, it's like back in the day. It's like, oh my gosh. Oh, well... You know, like you have a power fair, you don't have a memory card. Oh, crap! Oh, I lost my save data. It's the same thing. It's just that this is a modern system that should be better than this. But it's not. Because Twitch doesn't, it doesn't care. Is it just, it, it, I don't understand why I couldn't save that video. And after it says that it's already been saved. Save press broadcasts. I just, I just don't understand this. I really don't. And, and if I have to take a break, I'm going to take a break. I'm not subjecting myself to this crap, okay? But I'm just letting you, the subscribers, know and all the freaking trolls and the assholes that like to be jerks to me about the fix the freeze, just let you know this has nothing to do with Battlefront 3 Legacy. So if you... Say anything about Five Front Three Legacy, I will ban you and block you immediately. So don't even start with that crap. I don't care if I'm a meme. It has nothing to do with the situation. If I was talking about Battlefront Three, yes, nothing to do with Battlefront Three Legacy. Okay, that's my final point. I'm gonna get out of here. I will see you guys on. I will probably see you guys on Monday. I don't know if I want to stream tomorrow, but I'm taking a break. So. Um, hope to see you guys soon and, and screw you people who think fix the freeze. Okay. Enough with that. Omar, I'm talking to you. Gonk, no one gives a crap about you. You're, you've been kicked from my channel. Um, all right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.